Hey folks, what's up? It's Hezri here with another tutorial and hopefully we're gonna be starting a series of Espresso nodes tutorials. So basically the first ground rule is we're not gonna talk about any basic uh, stuff. You should uh, already be familiar with Espresso, the basic stuff you should be uh, you know acquainted with in order to actually follow this tutorial uh, you know properly. Uh, what we're gonna be talking about are Espresso nodes. So in each tutorial we're gonna be talking about one, two, I don't know maybe more of Espresso nodes and uh, we're gonna be talking about what they do first of all and uh, a, a, maybe a practical example of how you actually use those nodes in your scenes and uh, this uh, week we're gonna be talking about uh, very very useful and powerful nodes called condition okay let's see what exactly condition node can do I just simply create a null right click cinema 4d tags Espresso. When you have your Espresso, just uh, the first thing I'm going to do is get a result node that hopefully you're familiar with, one of the basic nodes that give us results uh, of our outputs. And uh, the next thing I'm getting a, a condition node, logic condition. Okay, basically what condition node is and what uh, it can do, you have different states and you can switch between those different states. You can define as many states as you want and your states are those inputs. We have two here, we can add as many as we want and you can switch between th the, those different inputs. So let me just uh, create a few uh, simple, I think constant node. Uh, constant node, you can define a simple number uh, and it would be uh, just uh, as is forever it's not going to change at all so let's just uh, give a simple number like 10 create another constant node a number of 15 another constant node a number of I don't know 30 let's just go up by 15 increments and this one 45 and I can go through and just connect those uh, constant to my inputs okay now I have four inputs or four states that I can switch between them if I just uh, connect this output to my result node okay now look at this our condition node uh, switch says zero zero is our first state if I can change this guy to one our result node changes to 15 which is our second state if I change my switch to two my condition node use my third state which is 30 and if I change to 3 my condition node uh, is using my fourth uh, state which is 45 so this is what condition node is and let me just show you how you can basically uh, and practically use uh, that node okay let me just uh, go and simply create two boxes about 20 centimeter uh, the main use for me of condition node, you can do whatever you want with condition node, but I really use it a lot using uh, to create actually proxy uh, in my scenes. I have for example this box control drag to create a copy and let's just add a bit of fillet, something like maybe three centimeters or two and add a lot of segments like 10, like 10 and 10. Now imagine you have a very complex scene and you want to use thousands of cubes uh, if you use this uh, complex mesh, this one, uh, your viewport is going to be very slow and you can basically really, you can't work this way. So what uh, we do when we have complex scene, we basically use a proxy object uh, to, uh, you know, do our animations and stuff and we simply change that proxy to our uh, complex mesh when we want to get uh, output finally. So let me show you how you can uh, different between these two states. Okay, let me just name these cubes properly. This one is going to be our uh, low quality one and this one is going to be our high quality cube. And I'm just going to uh, create a simple instance object. And this instance object has a reference object so you can define uh, which object you want to instance. But I'm going to use my user data menu here. Go to your manage user data. I'm going to try to create two links and link uh, those two links to this field here. So let's add data. This is going to be our high quality one and select it, control drag uh, and low quality one. Just uh, change the data type from 
float to link and actually do the same thing for the log quality also there we go now you have those two links and just remember to hit ok so those guys are going to be added just one thing that i forgot to actually add is a switch that we can use as input to our switch port in our condition node so i'm going to add a data and this one we're going to be naming name it switch okay and the switch is going to be a bool or boolean and hit okay now we have our switch we can actually name it a bit more wisely i think let's just go to something like proxy which is going to be i think better okay now we have this one and just uh, let's put this uh, hq cube in this field and our log quality cube in this field and let's just use this expresso tag that we have right now here and just let's okay so the first thing we are going to need a condition note so uh, logic condition and the next thing is uh, our instance and its user data so i'm going to get my instance here control double click on the name to actually uh, optimize your node we have uh, hq lq for our log quality and the proxy again control double click put the proxy up okay now we're gonna use uh, our hq high quality cube link as our first state just make sure the condition node actually data type is set to link because we're gonna using links here so you have to change the uh, data type it's really important in expresso to uh, very very give a very special attention to the data type that you're working with otherwise you're gonna have a lot of nightmares so just make sure and our proxy switch we're gonna be using it as uh, a switch to control our different states okay now we have the condition node and another thing I'm gonna again use this instance and again we can use this uh, object reference or reference object as an input node and simply you can go and connect this guys now basically let me just uh, if any now we have our reference object which is being controlled by by our condition node our condition node has two states a high quality cube and a low quality cube okay and if we use this user data this uh, switch if you turn it on it's going to use our second node which is our low quality one if you turn it off it's going to be using our first state which is our high quality cube now let me just put these two guys in our in a null and maybe type instances and just to make sure we are not going to be in our scene now we have this cube here and I can simply go and turn my proxy off back on whatever you want to do and if I have a very for example a simple uh, cloner here uh, let's just change the type to something like a grid array and have 10 and X 10 and Y and you can simply imagine if you have a lot of those guys now um, just to make it a bit more complex maybe 20 20 and 400 400 now you can simply by using a simple um, proxy change these guys to these complex cubes turn it back on you have you, you are using your proxy and you can simply if you want drag it to your viewport and show it always and you can use it this way so hopefully it was a useful tutorial uh, and we're gonna hopefully I'm, I'm gonna try to actually uh, create uh, every week uh, one tutorial at least hopefully because my life couldn't get any bumpier unfortunately I'm very busy right now and uh, every week we're gonna be talking about a node so if you think there is a node that you really want to learn how to use it uh, come on and just uh, write down a comment uh, and I will be talking about that node uh, just one very important thing that uh, I want to talk about before I close this tutorial is whenever you have a node and you want uh, to know what exactly it does uh, simply you can select the node go to 
uh, whatever parameters here, right click on that and say show help and then you can simply click on this parameter and it exactly tells you what exactly it does and this is what I use to uh, get uh, actually the first part of this tutorial which we talk about condition node and what it does I use exactly this uh, example here so uh, go there if you have a question or write down a comment and hopefully uh, I'll be uh, answering you so thank you for watching this tutorial it's Khazri here and uh, goodbye